For this year's European Rover Challenge, we are proud to present an upgraded version of our Rover, Ardito. Diana is led by a leading board, consisting of department leaders, the project manager, and the team leader. Their function is to support technical development and administrative tasks. A support board, composed of expert team members and group coordinators, helps to coordinate teamwork and operations. Diana is divided into three departments. The mechanical department is responsible for Auditos' main structure and mechanisms. The electronics department handles PCBs, harnessing, and custom firmware development. Computer science maintains and develops JANA software infrastructure and controllers. Each department is further organized into groups. In addition, there are three special purpose groups. The management group, which supports budgeting, scheduling and procurement. Media and design dealing with social media and visual image. Science group, in charge of science hypothesis and planning. Besides those three, transversal groups deal with system integration, testing and operations. We are excited to participate in ERC 2023 as we believe it is an incredible opportunity to test ourselves and grow as individuals. We see ERC as a proving ground for our engineering skills, while the competitive environment is forcing us to push ourselves to our limits and learn a lot about ourselves in the process. We are also excited about the opportunity to meet with seasoned professionals within the space industry, as we believe these connections will be invaluable to our future careers. Audito is a modular platform, based on a Rockabogi configuration, equipped with six driving spring steel wheels. Front and rear wheels can also steer. The differential system hosts two rails for power and avionics modules housing. The main onboard computer, together with other avionic boards are contained in the rear module, while the batteries with power electronics are hosted in the front one. Batteries are easily interchangeable, to adapt to tasks length and different configuration electrical needs. System and environment safety is achieved through three defensive layers. The first two are software implemented. A timeout inside the Rover OBC and the subsystems control unit stops any system movement if the connection with the onboard computer is lost. The second layer is directly connected to the power source and acts directly on the battery. Its activation, either automatic or manual via the emergency stop button, cuts the power to the entire rover immediately, stopping any movement. Onboard data processing is handled by a Linux-based NVIDIA Jets on Xavier. The rover's software is organized in layers of abstraction. Communication with the ground segment occurs through a Wi-Fi access point, while rover modules are interconnected via Ethernet using the MQTT protocol. A new software stack for pose estimation has been created this year. It combines data from up to five sensors and environmental information from depth cameras. This is used by software services for semi-autonomous and fully autonomous navigation. Low-level controllers are managed by peripheral control units designed to be modular and connected together through the CAN bus protocol. More powerful microcontrollers serve as the main control units. This design ensures that all subsystems and payloads use the same boards with the same firmware structure. Audito is controlled and monitored by a team of operators from the Genas ground segment. At its core, there is the SAWAGUI, a web app fully developed by the team in following modern standards of user experience and interfaces. SAWAGUI is a multi-platform application allowing operators to control Audito even from their own smartphones. Audito's modular design allows for different configurations each with dedicated payloads to optimize ERC task solutions. 
The navigation configuration features a navigation turret equipped with stereo cameras for tracking capabilities. In the manipulation configuration, the 6 degree of freedom arm is mounted in the place of the navigation turret. This allows Ardito to interact with the surrounding environment. Interchangeable fingertips and various sensors allow it to operate in different scenarios and environments. An autonomous movement of the arm is achieved through an algorithm based on inverse kinematics, allowing it to move to desired coordinates with accuracy. In the science configuration, Ardito is equipped with an arm, a soil sampler, and all payloads necessary to perform scientific activities. The sampling system consists of the sampler, the percussion system, and the lifting system, and it has been designed to preserve the sample stratigraphy. The science group conducted a thorough analysis of Arcadia Planitia on Mars and decided to concentrate on the ice and sand mixture present in this region. The use of ice is particularly interesting for future human colonization. During the ERC 2023 finals, Audito will explore the area to verify geological hypotheses, while having a UAV as companion, Audace. Audace is built using COTS components, including a light controller and a raspberry, used for automation and future development. It has photogrammetry capabilities for efficiently capturing non-intrusive 3D data for accurate geological analysis. Thank <laughs> you.